Hi Aquarius, welcome to self-discovery support and thank you for joining. This is a timeless general reading and please make note of what resonates for you and it's also okay if it doesn't. Tarot does not govern your future. It is best used as a tool to help you find your best path forward. Okay, so we're going to look at that right now. Let me put my uh, phone on silent. Okay. Alright, so let's see what's happening for Aquarius right now. Nine of Wands. The star. Okay, so that's you. That's your energy coming out there. That's going to be interesting. Queen of Cups. Okay. All right, we have two that want to come out. Temperance and the um, Ten of Wands. Okay, the Hangman as well. Okay. Ace of Cups. It's a really like already, um, I haven't even looked at the cards, but it's already like feeling very emotional. Like you're moving in a direction that is like very heart centered. Knight of Cups to confirm that in hidden energy. Okay. So Aquarius, what's happening for you now? Um, this is your message from the ancestor reading as well. So I'm going to get that near the end. Um, what I'm seeing here is, all right, so it feels like you're coming from a place where there was a real, I want to say emotional strain, like real difficulties in life. Almost this is the type of thing that's like life changing, the type of like with a nine and the ten. It's almost like um, tempering fire. Is it that? Is that it? Tempering iron or trial by fire, I think is what I want to say. But it's just like one thing after the other, like a mountain. Um, yeah, you've been, you've been through, you've come through a whole lot. And with the temperance card here, it's like there's a temperance, the tempering effect. Um, it was a, you know what, this was for a purpose of bringing things in your life into balance because it felt like maybe you were giving to certain situations or taking on too much at some point, a little bit more than you should have. Maybe not considering yourself enough as well. But it feels like this, this was like, this is one of those things where it's like it's not happening to you, it's for you even as difficult as it was it's like this was um i think a coming of age type of situation all right and we have the star and the hangman so two major arcana right ha happening right now for you um this is a healing process which i think you had maybe you had delayed this for a while or maybe it feels like after all of this, you had no choice but to slow down and take the time needed to just focus on yourself, focus on what you needed to do to, to bring things back into balance. This is like, but you know what? This is the right response. This is, I guess, the Aquarius way because with your card, one of hope and healing, we have you taking the time out to kind of look around at things in your life. I think after this point you're never gonna be you're never gonna have the same difficulties again this seems like um for many of you it's like a major point in life where you really had to pull yourself back i didn't see the hermit well i did see the hermit at some point but it didn't come out here but i feel like that that's probably what you had to do is like withdraw take the time out refocus on yourself and then it's like you're seeing everything now anew which what that normally does is when you see that that's normally somebody that the whole outlook changes the the things that they want to do in their life change it's i don't know if i would call it awakening more as like 
almost like alignment in a way because the things that were burning you are now like clearing themselves away this could be situations you know events that happened as well now we have the queen of cups ace of cups so here you are showing up in this completely renewed very open almost like intuition is opened up you're very sensitive almost like a very caring balanced energy almost like i feel like you've never been in as in touch with yourself um, a lot of self-worth happening here even some of you might find like new love entering soon or soon enough especially with the knight of cups it's like definitely a very spiritual angle somebody who's like open and ready it's like you've dusted yourself off this took you a while i can see that but the progress is so clear okay all right so i want to get um the potential outcome and then we'll get advice from um your ancestors potential outcome Okay, that's interesting. I keep these um, extra cards that come with this deck in here. And this has never come out for me. But you know what? I, I had already given these um, cards a meaning. And for, th for this one, I, I see like somebody who's being guided. Um, I, I didn't say anything. But the Queen of Cups here could be like a mother figure. A kind of motherly energy that's around you. Or some kind of guidance so this is like a clear card to say like your ancestors are definitely supporting you guiding you along the way through your cups they're cheering you on here yeah and so it's like a, a sign to say like it's gonna be okay it's definitely gonna be okay you are more than um together on this it's like if you if sometimes you don't feel sure of yourself they got you All right, so let's get the advice now. All right. Advice, the magician. Wheel of Fortune. Two of Wands, yeah. And then look at this. Another one of these cards that I've never seen before. But this is talking about, um, to me, this card is always about the love connection. I've, I see this card as like the lovers before or after it's like the two of cups and with the judgment here it does feel like some kind of renewal so it could be um for some of you it could be someone that you know already that this whole thing is going to get a renewal because you've been through all of this process or it could be that through this ace of cups energy this new situation that now enters with the knight of cups which was here you are going to experience a, a, almost like a complete change in the way your life occurs. And if we look at um, the magician, the wheel of fortune, and the two of wands, it's like your world is about to open up. So it's like plan on this. Don't think that you're going to stay in the same place forever. Stay small if that is something you've been struggling with. It's like things are about to change. You have manifested major change. These two, you're bringing this in and it's just like preparedness. So um, another thing is like visualizing what you want to have happen. You see how this person is, has the, the idea that they can um, have whatever they want and they are just looking at the, the length and breadth of what they could bring into their life. I think that's what you're being asked to do here, Aquarius. All right, so I want to draw you um, a Monology card. Just started using these cards, but I find that they're really accurate. Okay, another ancestral message for um, Aquarius, please. Okay, these two wanted to come out. It says, don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo, and conclusions are within reach. Okay, so it's this energy of this difficulty that was being wrapped up, I'm seeing here, but also it's this here. Whatever this connection is, I'm feeling like you're being asked to remain open to it, and 
you haven't been through this whole journey for nothing right it's like new things want to come into your life now so let that happen you know um Aquarius this looks like an amazing reading and you've been through a lot and you're going to big places so if you do like this do give a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and I hope to see you here again take care